Halo Insider emails have been sent. Reach on MCC, look a bit on the UI. Halo 5 April calendar, BTB refresh preview, legacy maps added back into Halo 5. MCC on PC release possibly announced, and a little bit of Halo Infinite news for you in this video. Let's get right into it. How's it going, everybody? It's Kevin here once again, giving you some news information when it comes to Halo, guys. If you like these news informational videos, please make sure to tap that like button as it greatly helps out the video and the channel, as well as more people get to stay up to date with everything going on in Halo. Leave a comment down below as well. I will read all comments and try to apply to most of them as well about this video. And if you want to stay up to date with anything Halo related, please make sure to tap subscribe with the bell. As we all know, sub feeds can be kind of weird at times. So let's get right into the video here. Recently, there was a community update post on Halo Waypoint about all the things going on with everything Halo, and it was a lot of stuff. So much so I actually made a video about some of it previously, so if you want to check out some MCC stuff, go check out the video I made previously about talking about the April update, which was, which was huge in its own right. But first, let's go with the latest news happening that the Halo Insider new emails have been sent out right now. They're rolling out right now, so we haven't, uh, everyone who's going to be invited to the MCC Insider program has not had a chance to quite uh, be in it yet. Uh, they're still looking for the right people. They're just kind of rolling out emails as we speak. I still haven't received mine. Unishag, get on that. I'm just saying though, but anyway, so the that emails are rolling out. So keep an eye on your inbox. Uh, I've heard a lot of people say that the emails have actually gone to their spam email box as well. So keep an eye on that. So your junk or spam emails as well as maybe your update emails in your main inbox. Keep an eye on those all because these are mass sent emails. So obviously your your own email might read it as spam. And here's a little preview of what Halo Reach looks like on the campaign UIs. Yeah, it's pretty sweet. You have a Halo Reach just right over there on the left side, right before CE, Halo 2, Halo 3, Halo, 4, Halo 3, ODST, and Halo 4 as well. And it's just great to see Reach just there. It just looks so right. And a video that I, I made previously as well, talking about how I thought Reach was going to eventually come to the MCC as well because of the way these icons looked on the screen. And there was like a spot that was empty that could have totally filled in for another game. And well, now it's finally filled in. It might have been premature on that guess, but it came true eventually with the Reach coming to the MCC. So that was a really fun addition to look at right there. And as we know with Halo 5, yes, things are still rather relevant there. Things are still pretty fun and things are still being updated with Halo 5 as well. So here's like going to be the calendar for April. So starting April 4th, we'll have action sack back in the game, which rotates in for Council Wars. Then April 11th, we'll have Griff Ball, which rotates in for Rock and Rail. April 11th as well, we'll have Wars and Assault. That's live on the weekends. April 18th, we'll have Shoddy Snipers. I know some people are very big fans of their sniper game modes. They'll rotate in for action sack. And then 20, April 25th, we'll have Covenant Slayer rotates in for Griff Ball. And April 25th as well, Warzone Turbo for the weekend. And as we've talked about previously, there is still the BTB refresh in the works right now. So far, what it looks like, it's mainly like a graphical update which will allow the maps, maybe some new maps as well. But here's an updated look to what the new Sand Trap map looks like it looks very much in line more with say like halo 4 or halo 5's art style when it comes to forerunner structures but it looks so much better than the current version i can't believe that they were able to pull this off in forge it looks fantastic i can't wait to get my hands on jump on this i do believe i've also seen a little bit when it comes to the, Va the valhalla remake also staying in there getting a bit of a visual update uh, my main thing is just Give me a look at the Magnum starts, man. I'm just not really digging the Battle Rifle starts when it comes to Big TB, but that's just me. I just love to have some new maps just as a whole. Just have it play just new or something different right there. And so, like I mentioned earlier in this video as well, we're moving on to the other topic about legacy maps coming back to Halo 5. As we know in the Team Arena playlist that Fathom and Regret were both taken out of rotation right there. Well, recently they're actually going to be bringing those maps back. So we have CTF on Fathom. We have also have Slayer on Regret. And also we, they brought back Slayer on Eden, which I think is a great addition. I'm not, really, not totally sure why Regret wasn't as favored when it comes to competitive of maps but fathom i felt like was unfairly treated and booted out of the hcs playlist i know a lot of people really enjoyed that map when it comes to ctf i think it's just a predictable spawns and it's just a simple map layout 
that lend itself to some really good gameplay, and I'm really glad to see Fathom return to the Halo 5. Now, I did mention this earlier on top of the video about uh, potentially the announcement of the MCC on PC being available to play for anybody. And we do not have an official announced date for the MCC on PC. Though, on this post, they do mention about how you'll be able to play the Master Chief Collection on PC at these Halo Outposts. If you guys don't remember, the Halo Outpost discoveries are basically a American traveling uh, theme park, if you want to call it that, of just everything Halo related. A super awesome experience. I wish I could go, but the nearest one to me is in Anaheim, which is in California, which that's a good amount of distance for me. And on top of that, it's also, I think, the same weekend as PAX. I don't think I'll be able to make it to any of these outposts, sadly, but they seem, seem to be uh, be continuing this on annually, which hopefully we'll have a Seattle date eventually. But they say in this Twitter post right here about the outpost saying, I get your game on at Halo Outpost this summer, competitive VR, laser tag arena, Pelican training simulation, and MCC Master Chief Collection on PC, which the very first date of this outpost is going to be on Friday July 5th and so that would mean I would have to think that you would have something you can play on the MCC on PC to the public before the 5th of July. So how much of a tease would that be to be able to go play MCC on PC and they're like all right have fun wait another six months until you actually get a chance to play it at home. I just don't think they would have that they would add that into the outpost which it wasn't even promised at the first place but then now they're promising it. I would have to think that Eventually, we'll probably get MCC on PC before the end of the summer, so that would be pretty freaking awesome. Now, I do just want to confirm, we do ha have a confirmed release date for the MCC on PC, and we do not know the extent of what you'll be able to play, if it's just Reach, or just or the whole thing as everything, or just the multiplayer, or just the campaigns, or we, that's all we know, is that MCC on PC will be at Halo Outpost on July 5th to start out with. And so we get that to look forward to. So this, I would think that you would have to have some form of the game available to the public before July 5th. That's all I'm, that's all I'm reading into. Them. And for a little bit of Halo Infinite news, as we do know that they're creating a pro team, much like they did for Halo 5, but now they're also doing it for Halo Infinite. As we do know, I did report this earlier that Wes or Clutch is gonna be kind of like the lead for the pro team. We do know that we also have uh, Mick Wynn involved with that. And we, now we have a brand new edition is going to be L-Town, who is a Halo pro. He was bigger named like in Halo 5 for sure. A little bit about L-Town is he is known for his competing in multiple Halo titles and placing second at the first Halo World Championship in 2016 with Team Allegiance. His unique playstyle and ability to create new metas in a competitive scene will be a great asset to the team at 343. Now I know, like I said earlier, that they do have a they did have a pro team for Halo 5, but I think this pro team is actually much more pro focused, if that makes sense really. Uh, a lot of these guys are solid players. They definitely know the ins and outs when it comes to playing Halo. Uh, everyone they've mentioned about being added onto the team, I'm full 100% backing behind these guys. I'm like, yes, I've seen those guys play. They're very good at the game. They know the ins and outs. They know what's going to take to make a good Halo game where it's going to be hopefully accessible for new players, but also have a deep skill gap also in there as well. So then you have a chance to get better at the game, learn it, and have just a pool of information for you to pull from when it comes to being a better Halo player. So yeah, to summarize, the emails for Halo Insider have been sent. The reach on the UI of the campaigns was a pretty nice little thing to see. We do know now what the April schedule looks like for a lot of the social games. We do know now what a little bit of what Sandtrap is going to be looking like when it comes to the BTP refresh. Uh, I'm glad to see some of the legacy HGS maps making it back into Team Arena like Fathom and Regret. Uh, I'm pretty excited to know that there's going to be MCC on PC at Halo Outpost. I, I just have to think. That there's going to be some playable version to the public before July 5th. That's all. I'm, that's, that's, that's it. Would just make sense to me. And I'm also glad to see L Town be added to the pro team. That list of people on that team are all just great players, and I can totally believe that they 
do know what it makes takes to make a great deep Halo multiplayer. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. I greatly appreciate it. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to tap that like button as it greatly helps with the video and the channel. Leave a comment down below what your thoughts are on the topics touched on in this video. It was a lot of information, a bit of a dump on you guys here, but I hope you appreciate it. If you want to stay up to date with anything Halo related, please make sure to tap subscribe with the bell so you stay up to date with anything Halo related. And if you guys are new to the channel or miss any content from me, check out the videos on the screen right now. I'll catch you all in the next video. Peace out.